CJ, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for doing this. Um, just with a year under your belt now, what do you feel like you've really learned from your first year in college basketball? And what are some things you, you've been trying to work on this offseason going into year two? Um, this uh, coming into my second year, I think um, just being more comfortable out on the floor and just knowing what Coach Woody wants and just the standard that we set last year um, is what, we, what I have to bring this year and learn how to lead the team and become and now be an older guy and help lead the younger and the new guys into bringing them into our culture and to our family and to hopefully go go further in the tournament than we did this year and getting the Big Ten title. Mason? CJ, thanks for the time. Kind of on that same uh, on that same wavelength, I guess, with the with your, I guess, improved role as a leader this year. Is that a challenge only being a sophomore, knowing that you've only got one year under your belt when there's a lot of guys around you this year that are going to be younger than you? I mean, it's a challenge, but, you know, that's what I'm here for. I didn't come here to be comfortable. Um, I came here to be pushed outside um, my element and to get used to being being, com being comfortable with being uncomfortable, you know. Um, so I see it as a great opportunity for me to take my game to the next level. Jack? Hey, CJ, thanks for doing this. Um, I guess, how much this summer have you been able to work with uh, Calvert Chaney? And, and if so, could you kind of explain maybe what those workouts have been like and kind of the things he wants you to focus the most on uh, just for the upcoming season? Yeah, so um, before uh, even Coach Chaney got um, down here, you know, I had some connects with um, some family members who already knew Coach Chaney just because he's from Indiana. But um, I gave him a call and I let him out. And we were talking about when he's going to come down here. So um, we were already excited to already get in the gym before he even got down here. And when he finally got down here, um, I, my, at the first practice I watched film with him, um, the first day we got training sessions in. So um, me and his bond is already tight. And um, I feel like he's he's really rooting for us. And, and he's just another piece to the puzzle in, in making this program great. And the, the training sessions, they're, they're just um, – I watched Coach Cheney's film also, and, like, he – he really, he really lived in the mid range when he was in the league, and that's that's really one of my specialties with my ability to leap off the floor and, and raise above my opponents to let my shot off. So he really is teaching me how to be more effective with one or two dribbles, with either collapsing the defense or getting my shot off. Alex, DJ, thanks for the time. Really appreciate it. When you look back at your freshman season, what do you feel like you did well, and what do you feel like are the biggest areas uh, for your for improvement moving forward? Um, looking back at my freshman year, I, I think I did a real job, a real good job on the defensive side of things. You know, um, I feel like my offense wasn't necessarily clicking how I wanted it to, but you know, that that's just as long as you're confident. I feel like, and you put the in, the effort into the gym and, and the countless days, I feel like that's that size just gonna handle itself. But um, that defensive, that's all effort and energy, and I feel like I've always brought that every time I stepped out on the court, and I'm gonna continue to bring that and take my and take my two way game to the next level as well. Mike? Yeah, CJ, um, in terms of, you know, you said you wanted to, you didn't come here to be comfortable, but how hard is it to have patience, you know, when you're sitting out long stretches last year, not used to that as a guy that was a star in high school, how, how much of a, does it have to, you have to work on your mindset and that mentality to kind of be patient? How, how hard is that? Or how hard was that for you? I mean, it's difficult, you know, um, no path in life is going to be easy. So um, just you're going to have them thoughts about, I can, I, like, I, I can't do this. I'm not going to get there. But, you know, I'm a man of God, and I believe God always has my back. And through that faith, you know, why would I give up now? You know, you just got to keep going, and you're going to get to where you want to get to. It's, like I said, as long as you're in the gym and you're putting that work in and, and your love for the game is genuine, then God, God, God got me. Alec? Hey, CJ, thanks for doing this. Um, you spoke a couple times here about how you don't think you got into the offensive rhythm that you wanted to last year. Um, you spoke about how confidence could be a big key for you getting into it this season. Physically speaking, aside from the confidence, what areas of your game offensively have you really tried to improve this season? Um, just being more effective, you know, um, knowing a good shot from a bad shot and just really um, cutting, cutting off the ball and getting my teammates involved as well. And also where I like to, where, I, where I'm looking to evolve my game this year um, further is bringing the ball up the floor and being more of a combo guard, um, transitioning from the one and the two. Zion? 
Yeah, CJ, uh, hope you're doing well. I guess my question is just how has it been different so far in the in the few practices and, and workouts you guys had? Obviously, a team that was built so much around Trace the last few years. How has that changed now going into this summer? I mean, it's definitely um, a different feel and a different and a different team than last year. You know, Trace has been here. He he had his era and Fino, obviously, he left and all the seniors like Miller and Race. But you know, it's just it's just a great it's just a great feeling um, coming in with a new squad and knowing that we have the chance to be something great. And so coming in, learning the new guys' game um, on and off the court, um, just meshing with e with each other. Um, I I I believe that that we're we're going to be something great this year. Alex, DJ, when we talked to Calvert a couple of weeks ago, he he mentioned that he thought the talent in the locker room was there to be an even better team next season than you were last year. And people kind of look at the players that are gone and, and kind of wonder how that could happen. But why, why do you think maybe he believes that? And as a player, when you look in that locker room and kind of what pieces have assembled, why do you think that is a possibility? I mean, we're deep this year. You know, we have all the pieces to the puzzle that we need. Um, it's just all about, and, and, and one thing about us, about our team, which I love, and that we built this culture here, and, my, and Coach Wilson has definitely helped build this culture, is we're in the gym consistently, every day getting better. And that's everybody in the locker room, counting the walk-ons, everybody. So um, just everybody worried about um, transitioning and being a new team this year. I'm not worried at all about that, not one bit. Um, I feel like, we're, we're deep this year and we're, we're going to handle business. Alec? CJ, you said that you feel like you guys have all the pieces that you need heading into this season. You talked about being an energy guy, um, improving on the defensive and offensive sides. Um, aside from those things, what piece do you bring to the Indiana basketball puzzle entering this season? Um, I feel like just my, um, my like you said, my two-way ability and um, my ability to create, um, get my shot without the ball. You know, I'm I'm very good with um, creating space um, when it comes to coming off down screens or pinaways or any 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 cutting or any action throughout our motion. What throughout our motion offense is what I really specialize in. Jack, CJ, uh, I guess what's been your impression of uh, Mackenzie and Baco coming in? I guess maybe going up against him in practice or um, playing with him. Just kind of what do you think he brings to the team? I Man, I think he bring, I think he brings this grit and this sort of um this sort of aggressive aggressive to our game that challenges us um every day to get better. You know, we go against each other every day in practice. So um just having that competition in practice um is nothing going is not iron sharpens iron. So I'm gonna get better and he's gonna get better. And so when we're out there and we're we're actually in the game, we're we're gonna be just fine. And but he's a he's a tough shot maker and he's a great player and he's a great player to play with. Um, but 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 we all we also have um, a lot to learn about each other and, and, and get more comfortable playing with each other for sure. Last question for Seth. Yeah, CJ, you mentioned uh, when you were talking about all the guys you lost from last year. You mentioned Jalen, and just kind of when you look at the backcourt specifically, I mean, you got Trey and X back there, kind of leading the way. But how I guess how would you kind of assess the group that you guys have there at guard this year, and how much of an opportunity do you feel like you have there this year to contribute? Um, I feel like. Fino, Fino, Fino left our backcourt, and you know he's doing his own thing in the league, and that's that's my brother, and I wish him nothing but the best. But I don't feel like we we lost anything when it comes to um, guards and the positions. You know, I feel like um, like you said, our backcourt with KBX, um, Gallo, me, Gabe. I feel like we're we're all willing to fill those shoes in, and, and if not surplus sur surpass them shoes, in order to um, be better than the team we were last year.